five. We'll wait and see how closely matched these players are. Domat versus Komacho. Winners, not winners finals. I'm sorry about that. Winners <laughs> semifinals. My bad, but here we go. Sora versus Rick or er, Simon. I have not played this matchup yet, but playing both of these characters, I would say that Simon is going to have a lot of difficulty here. Immediately starting to to work up some percent though. The one trouble that Simon is going to have uh, very strongly once it comes into play is Sora is going to Sora is going to edge guard any character, but Simon he doesn't even have to work that hard. He can just down air, and Simon Simon's recovery is that linear that there won't be much you can do in that certain scenario. Komacho is having a tough time dealing with this ledge trapping though. And Belmont does manage to take the first stock. So while Simon may have difficulty in this matchup, Belmont demonstrating so far that they are... They are in more of a... Whoa! Big up smash read, but holds it for too long. So I will come back from that as usual. Don't expect a Sora and that. I definitely expected that to kill. It did, in a way. Aggressive option from Belmont doesn't end up working out in the long run. Trying to go for the shield break setup again, but Kachak Komacho does air dodge out of it. Or jump out of it. We are at even stocks, but. Komacho, Komacho is doing a good job of, they get hit by that holy water at the ledge, they're just going to drop off of it. Now I'm wondering, I'm still wondering what the reasoning is for switching to Simon or if it's just need something different for losing bracket. I can understand that to some extent. Sometimes I'll play a different skin and lose the bracket. But now Komacho, ooh, now Komacho is keeping it closer than the previous stock. There may be some adaptation that has taken place here, but that stock still hasn't been removed yet. So we still, we do have to wait to see that to take the stock. It does get a last final hit for 31% total. As Belmont plays through this set, I expect that they're going to get used to the used to the the options that Komacho takes to get out of disadvantage. Sora landing is probably his biggest weakness, and Belmont's Simon and Richter. Oof, bad DI on that forward air. I think forced that stock. Belmont. Taking game one. So what sort of changes are we going to look at here for game two? I don't expect uh, Komacho to change characters. At any point, I definitely don't expect Belmont to change character. If you're playing with a tag that is named after your character, you're probably not changing characters. We are going to Kalos, and as I touched on earlier, Belmonts on Kalos are going to have difficulty. Just because they can't cover all that space so easily. Sora can also get some platform extensions off the side platforms, but 
some difficulty that Sora might have. His best kill, his best kill options, his best kill confirms. A lot of them kill off the top. Anything confirming into up air, up smash, up B, it all kills off the top. And Kalos is gonna take a lot longer for that to work out for you. To the point where I don't think you can even do uh, your up B kill confirms on Kalos. You can still do things like Nair, Nair F smash and Fair F smash, but they're a bit more difficult to, to pull out in neutral. So far this game is seeming a bit closer though, so maybe it was a wise decision to come to Kalos. Both of them being very trigger happy with their upbees. Ooh, almost got the up air off of that cross. Does get the F tilt, it's not enough to kill quite yet. Kalos is a rather big stage. Even though the side blast zones are pretty close to the ledge, if you're getting hit from the middle, you're still gonna you're still gonna take a while to die. Macho is still alive at 185 now, but finally gets the F tilt to close out the stock. But that definitely took way longer than Belmont would have wanted. Good holy water on the platform. I think Belmont is very comfortable on this stage. Just that, plat just that platform extension that they went for. I they know what they're doing, basically. Kalos, the side platforms are the place of safe haven for characters that have difficulty getting out of disadvantage, but the Belmonts with their holy walker can cover those platforms really aggressively, and it can be very difficult to deal with. Finally gets the back air to take the stock to a PC. 96% is the deficit, and now starting to work on it with the Nair, but already finding himself off stage again, getting hit by the axe. Every time that axe hits, you just expect it to, to kill, even though we're on we're on the bottom of Kalos. Komacho has been having a hard time dealing with that axe. Good grab into the forward throw. Not much you can do there. There was a you know, could have reacted to it, but it was just so fast and online. It can be very difficult to react to holy water grab. Oh my goodness, that and Sora is that light for sure. I didn't even it didn't even occur to me that Sora could die there. But Belmont does take it take the second game and in much more definitive fashion than the first, I believe. Does Komacho stick with Sora? Because I'm one to assume that everybody who plays Sora in tournament in the first like month or so uh, has been playing s some has been maining some character for longer. I'm curious to see if we will see what that character is from Komacho, or if we will see them stick with the Sora. They're gonna stick with Sora. They're gonna stay with the tri with with their boy, the tried and true. It's still outrageous to me that Sora is in this game. Just, you know, I'd, aside from the tournament. It's so nice to see him here. He's a weird character. He's probably not one that I'll be maining in the tournament. But I'm so happy he's here. Anyway, we're back. We're on Smashville now, and... The last time I said this is a good stage for, for Richter and Simon... Uh, Belmont lost that game, so we're gonna wait to see, but so far it is going as you would normally expect with a Simon or a Richter on Smashville. You give a slow character with a lot of range a small stage and they're going to wreck shop, but this time around that edge guard is just about able to kill Belmont and I think for the first time this set uh, Gomacho has taken, Komacho has taken the first stock. 
they're getting a little bit of extra credit too. Kobaku's movement has been nice, that F tilt was well placed, well well thought out. Komacho's movement has been nice throughout the set, they've been a bit unpredictable in how they're going to move around you. Ooh, the down tilt off stage always scary when a Belmont does that, but does manage to make it back. Still at a deficit though, and it's felt like we've been at stalemate on this stock for a while. Another off stage situation. Able to shield! It was difficult to react to, but I'm still surprised that Sora was able to shield that. Oh, it does one part of the side B and then goes for the up smash read. I'm gonna start doing that. Try and read jumps. Boom, that axe is gonna be a problem, but Komacho does manage to avoid it. Ooh, just up B's without the side B, and I think that Belmont was expecting a side B to come out. But it does not. He's able to recover from all the way out there. I did not expect that. Ooh, good holy water. Just barely didn't reach because the roll. That time around, Belmont is intent on not losing any gains in this set. They came out from losers or from winner semis, lost their set, and they are ready to make this losing run. Ooh, but the up air just barely misses. Would have easily beaten out Sora's down air, but it was just barely out of line. But Komacho has a lot of ground to make up here. It's definitely possible. I'm not going for some weird jab reads. Yeah, you can turn down the temperature. Can you, can you mess with the AC? I had put it on heating because it wasn't holding the temperature earlier. Okay. I don't know then. Oh, it is? Okay. Belmont. Yeah, in the closet. Anyway, Belmont takes the set 3 0. What is this ending? I've never actually seen this win animation. My partner just came back.